Hello my viewers, I'm 2Z Porygon, and the results of my latest poll was in. I asked you people, or, well, I was having trouble deciding what game I wanted to record next, so I put up a poll asking you what you think I should play. And the game that got, well, a whole lot of votes, a lot more than all the other choices, it's gonna be another replay. Gotta love the good old Pixar logo. So just like I did with Spider-Man 2 and the Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction, I'm replaying a game, but on the Xbox version, rather than the PlayStation 2. And this is it, my replay of The Incredibles, a game based on one of the best movies ever of 2004. And believe it or not, it wasn't until 2018 where The Incredibles finally got a sequel. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get I really enjoy... well, there are other Incredibles games like Rise of the Underminer and of course LEGO The Incredibles, but this game here is pretty enjoyable too. Even for a movie-based game. Here we go, starting Bank Heist. Just like the movie, it takes place, or it starts off taking place during the golden age of superheroes, before they became illegal. Now that's the work of Bon Voyage, most likely. Yo, what are you waiting for? <laughs> right, you don't know what to do. Okay, time to start the first level for Mr. Incredible. But first, if you go all the way here, you'll find a bonus item. It actually wasn't until most recently where I found out that there's a bonus item there. Press this button to jump. The longer you hold the button, the higher you'll get. In case you can't or, or in case you can barely hear the voice, that's Brozone narrating right now, giving you the tutorial. And in case you're wondering, and you'll be happy to know, Samuel L. Jackson reprised his role as Brozone in this game. Pretty cool, huh? Although, not all characters in this game have the same voice actors. The only ones that do, well, we already established that Brozone has Samuel L. Jackson, and Violet, Dash, and Syndrome, they all have their original voice actors too. Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl, however, don't. In fact, believe it or not, in this game, Mr. Incredible is voiced by Richard McGonagall, a.k.a. Victor Sullivan from the Uncharted series. And he also did the voice of Carmine Falcone in Batman the Telltale series. Boy, this is one heck of a bank heist. Gotta stop those criminals at once. I already did, Zone. And for those who haven't played this game, one thing you should know, this game features actual clips from the movie. In fact, there was one that played before this level started, but I had to cut that out. As I'm sure you people will understand, I have to cut out all the movie cinematics due to copyright. You know how strict YouTube is about that. I gotta take out all the criminals before I proceed. Oh yes, there's another bonus item right here. All they do really is unlock extras, like concept art and stuff, which I usually don't care for. Gotta mash the B button to lift the safe door. And now you gotta do an incredible jump. Bonsai! How, how dare I say incredible that was. Oh look, there's Brozone himself. Oh, that helicopter's gonna get it, but it looks like Brozone will take care of it. Now, I believe there are exactly 18 levels in the whole game. The game is pretty good, although there are certain levels that are very difficult and annoying. And there are some that go on for a long time, rather. 
like, uh, I believe level 16 and 17, they go on for quite a while, and they're pretty annoying. So good thing I don't have to worry about them until I get to those points. Okay, now... I'm trying to remember where I need to go from here. Oh, wait, I, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be an open window. Oh, that's right, you have to go in here. The source of those lasers to turn them off. At first, I thought the fire here was blocking this broken window. You gotta throw objects at this control panel to deactivate the security beams, or, well, not, not exactly these security beams, but this control panel will do so. Guess what? You can pick up and throw stuff if you have to. Yes, Brozone. I, I know full well I can do that. Oh, there was no control panel here, but... Crap, that's a bomb. Here comes another bomb voyage goon. Of course, you can grab enemies as well. Oh no, another control panel. I think these goons will endlessly spawn. I reached another checkpoint. The game does give you, uh, it shows you how many checkpoints there are in each level, and I already got through the first three. Use those pipes to get up there. So here's where you gotta hang from a ledge. And you get to do a few stealth takedowns from this ledge. Or just one, rather. Press this button to grab the guys off the ledge. How am I not in the right spot? Bye bye, you! Oh my god, he's plummeting to his death right now. And I thought Mr. Incredible doesn't kill. Why is it never Nor do any superheroes in The Incredibles. He is so gonna go to jail for that. That must be one reason why superheroes became illegal. Okay, two more goons. Well, they're lucky to not be falling from a high distance. There are three different kinds of or a hell power-ups. They come in green, yellow, and red. And I think the red ones give you the most health, while green gives you the least. And let's not forget you have Incredit powers, which of course drain your Incredit meter, and you gotta find power-ups for them. Drop those tasers. You stand no chance against everyone's favorite super. And I thought you were taking care of that zone. That zip line should get you across. Just what I need. Okay, that was a fun ride. Suppy tells me Bon Voyage himself is in that chopper. Crap, I gotta get to this thing over here, which you gotta mash B to lift. Come on, get lifting! All right. What, did that scare ya? Well, now the chopper's gone. And I'm almost at the end of level one. Oh, and also, unlike in my... In fact, I haven't even mentioned yet. I I recorded The Incredibles the game twice before. The first time, I recorded a PS2 version, and the second time, I did the Game Boy Advance version. And I'm gonna make sure that this will be the last time just like with some other playthroughs I did, as I mentioned, with Spider-Man 2 and the Hulk Ultimate Destruction, I'm recording the Xbox version for the sake of showing off the better quality. Since The Incredibles is one of those Xbox games that's compatible with the 360. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm playing this game on. And since there are certain Xbox game, games that can be played on the 360, they're pretty much as close as you can get to having Xbox 360 versions of those games. Now you gotta take out these goons by throwing the bombs back at them. You gotta wait for them to light up green so you can pick them up. And just be sure to keep your eye out. Keep your eye out for the targeting reticles that appear. And you gotta do this exact same thing with the Bon Voyage boss fight. Which won't be until level 3 though. Oh my god, that bomb missed him. 
well, now I realize you gotta wait for them to stay still. Now you just gotta do one more incredible jump, and level one will be over. Also, in my PS2 version of, or in my PS2 version playthrough, I recorded each level per part. So that playthrough took 18 parts to finish, but I'm not going to be doing that with this replay. This time, I'm going to be recording multiple levels per video, and I think I'm just going to record the first three for part one. So now that level one is done. Let's move on to Skyline Stretch, the first level where you play as Elastigirl. So strangely, you don't get a movie cinematic before level 2 starts. I would have expected there to be the clip from the movie where Mr. Incredible first meets up with Elastigirl and then she stretches off, but... No, that, that actually didn't happen here. So now you get to play around with Elastigirl and her mighty elasticity. Oh my god, she just killed somebody. Okay, so Elastigirl's a killer too. How unexpected. No wonder the superheroes became illegal. And now, oh. Okay, well, one more is about to plummet to his death. Or not. That cinematic just interrupted my stretch. Oh, it's that chopper again. Ooh, but that right there is the good chopper. Just remember, the police choppers are always on the superhero side. Oh yeah, I can grab all of you guys from a distance. You're dealing with the female Mr. Fantastic here. who is also pretty skilled. Oh wait. I was supposed to jump down there, right? Okay. Watch me roll! That's one of the last girls in Credit moves. Oh, was that all of them? You need to throw the henchmen at this door now. I think these ones will also respawn endlessly. Leave it to a woman to clean up a man's mess. Okay, well, maybe not. Here is another bonus item. Really now? Would you guys really have the guts to hit a girl? Yup, they really would. Not to mention tase a girl. Okay. How do I get into these situations? Well, you are a superhero, Helen. They always get themselves in situations like this. Oh, I let go too soon. Apparently, these bomb hitting enemies have returned. Oh god, I should have made that jump. Come here, you! Your bomb throwing days are over. And yours too. I did a stretch punch at that goon. There's that evil chopper again. And the good chopper chasing after it. Stay out of the sky! Okay. Well, hopefully they all landed on that railroad track. More are coming! Oh! My god. It's what you get for trying to blow up a stretchy woman. Come on, I know more are coming. They definitely need to be more flexible. I sure could use now, what took you guys so long? That should be all of them. Now you gotta stretch onto the police chopper. Enjoying the ride, Helen? Oh no. Evil Chopper's back again. It clearly doesn't know when to quit. So now you gotta swing over these electrical floors. 
who needs a rope or even spider powers when you got stretching abilities? Gotta throw the goons at the air conditioning units to get rid of this electricity, which, by the way, kills you instantly. Come here, you, and get rid of all this electricity for me. These guys could be trouble. And they can be really stupid, too. Now things are getting interesting. Here's the next checkpoint. You underestimated the wrong so, woman. There's even more electricity I must disable. Now just... Hold still while I... No, not at him. At the air conditioning. Thank you. Okay, come on. Just come up higher. That's more like it. Will the next goon please come up? Come on, I just need one more. You fools. All you're doing is all you're doing is helping out Elastigirl. Wait for that chopper to fire missiles to give you another grapple point. Oh. There it is. That's a bad sign. Oh my god. Are you bad guys hiding from little old me? Yeah, thanks for the advice, Lucius. Not Lucius Fox, but Lucius Best. That's Brozone's real name. Lucius Fox only exists in the Batman world. Bad guys is fun. Yep, it sure is. When the last girl stands still and you hit the Y button, she does this attack. Okay, I don't I don't have time to deal with them. There isn't really any point though. You can just move on. Just run over to this hook. And of course here come more of them. Oh, I need to see that movie. I think you can ignore them too. You gotta keep swinging here. And hope that you'll swing each time. Oh, and it looks like level two is done. Elastigirl will too get you. Well, technically Mr. Incredible will. And he'll be getting their boss as well. Okay, so one more level and then I'll end part one. And this is where you fight Bomb Boyach himself. And this is where level three starts. With Mr. Incredible riding upon Buddy Pine, his number one fan who, in the movie, completely foiled his chance to stopping Bomb Voyage, and now he's gotta try to get the bomb off of Buddy. Oh boy. There's a bonus item right... Oh, I missed it. I'm gonna restart. In case you're wondering, no, you don't have to actually try to get the bomb off of Buddy's cape. You just gotta keep playing around with this flying sequence until you reach a certain point. I can't control our flight. Now I got the bonus item. You gotta keep trying to avoid these hanging lights, and I keep dodging too soon. When you get to this point, you now gotta dodge all these cars. Forget it, buddy. You heard what Mr. Incredible said. He works alone. I can't control our flight. If you will just let him get the bomb off you. Here comes... Okay, I got that bonus item too. No, not yet. 
I could barely even understand what either Bon Voyage or Mr. Incredible were saying right there, but... Here's the third bonus item in this level, and now, you're at the boss fight against Bon Voyage himself. He's gonna be in that chopper the whole time. And he has several attacks. And right off the bat, he's already throwing bombs. You gotta throw the bombs back at the chopper to damage it. And you can see, you gotta do it six times. And, uh, what he also has is, he's gonna fire this machine gun at you, and it's easy to dodge. When you hold down the RT button, and you hit the jump, uh, Mr. Incredible will do a charge jump. You can also do dodge rolls while you're crouching. Here comes bomb number two. Remember, you gotta wait for it to, or the lights on the bomb to turn green before you can pick it up. There he goes again. And now he's firing missiles. I'm getting really sick of those missiles. They're easy to dodge too. Just keep doing the dodge roll, and you'll be fine. As long as you don't mess up, you can probably... Well, I messed up right there, but... As long as you don't mess up, you can pretty much get through this whole boss fight without taking any damage. Although you gotta be lucky enough to not take any damage during the, uh, flying sequence with Buddy. Back at you, Bon Voyage! Or while yourself. And unlike in the movie, Mr. Incredible actually does take out Bon Voyage. In the movie, he ended up getting away thanks to Buddy. Get it, BB. You'll never destroy me. There are a bunch of objects around here you can destroy to find hell power-ups, if you need any. Your crime spree is over. My name is okay, so the regular jump can also be useful for dodging these bullets. Come on, throw another bomb. Like an idiot. Why, thank you so much! Unfortunately, though, Mr. Incredible hates bombs. Your chopper is smoking. You're pretty much screwed. And what's next, the bullets or the missiles? Those are all the attacks Bomb Voyage has. The bombs, the bullets, and the missiles. And believe me, this is an easy boss fight. All you gotta do is just keep doing what I do. There will be much harder boss fights later on. Well, they're rather... They're more annoying than hard, but... I can get through them. They're not impossible. The second to last bomb throw. Oh, come on. Apparently you gotta be pretty lucky to not get hit by another bomb if you're trying to go for a no-damage run in this boss fight. Miss me. Missed again. Come on, BB, just give it up. Oh, so you're doing the missiles and bullets. Bye bye me. And you know, I just realized I forgot to unhide my watermark for this video. I'll just have to put it in when I edit it. And Bon Voyage is finished. This will be the end of part one. And, oh, hold on, we also get this. The part where the superheroes become illegal. Yup, all the good they do just ends up causing even more harm. That's exactly what the Supers will be doing from now on. 
yep, over a decade later. Now how do people of the newspaper even know that people are raising their kids right? That's very odd, I have to say. Alright, well. That's gonna be it for the first three levels, the golden age of the superheroes. And... Well, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching part one of my replay of The Incredibles, and I shall see you all later where I play the next two levels. And the, and the next level will be the part where Bob and Lucius go through the burning apartment. Okay, see you all later.